Today, I will be answering the question, can you still use the Razer Viper Mini in 2024? Now, the reason I'm making this video is this summer, this mouse will have released five years ago. I bought this mouse pretty much at launch and used it all the way until late 2020. I recently dug it out again, gave it a brush off and plugged it in and it still worked fine. This sparked the idea in my head. Hey, why don't I make a video about this? I wanted to play my usual day's worth of games and see how differently I would perform from a mouse released way back in 2019. Now this mouse is locked to a thousand hertz, which would have been the gold standard at the time, but I thought being used to 4000 hertz might cause major problems in my aim. One thing I was surprised by before I sat down and started playing was that the weight ratio was still pretty similar to me. This shocked me as I thought it would be worlds heavier compared to the other lightweight mice I've been using. It did take a while to get used to that wire being there though. First game I hopped on and played some good old Fortnite. I did my usual warm up in this free build map and it felt pretty similar, but I was missing some edits which I really shouldn't have been missing. Although, spending another 10 minutes free building, the muscle memory kind of just overtakes here and I get used to the 1000 hertz, which I still think was one of the reasons that I was messing up my triples. It's actually crazy to me that some people say they can't feel the difference between 1k and 4k polling, because like, I definitely can. Anyway, I then moved on to some 1v1 realistics, which is one of my favourite warm up maps actually at the moment. Had some L's. hit some clips it's the usual stuff my aim felt pretty consistent still it was just my builds that I kept missing up on and I don't know why because they are mainly keyboard based but oh well I then finished my testing with this mouse with a good old game of solos dropped a decent win But, well, it's pubs, isn't it? Overall, I would rate Fortnite a 2 out of 10 on the changer meter. It still felt like my usual Fortnite gameplay, which is of course to the highest standard. I was messing up my builds, but overall, Fortnite felt really good for this mouse, being 5 years old. Now, one game I can say my performance did not feel the same. I went into the range and practiced my hardbots. Now I usually play it the lazy way and go for flicks, which yes, I know it's not the optimal way you should be warming up, but it, 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 it's fun, come on. And usually I get about 15 to 20, but no, oh, this map, this mouse, I got like maximum eight. I don't know if it was the sensor, the weight or the polling rate, but oh my God, my crosshair placement has not felt this bad in literal months. I then went into a team deathmatch and just, just don't watch, please. Gotta go. Ten seconds until stage change. Ah.
Yeah, wasn't great. I put my pass behind me and hopped into a swift play. And I don't know if it was because everyone was dog water, but you know, I was hitting some shots again. I got back in the flow of things. Spike planted. We ended up clutching the game, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna rate Valorant a 7 out of 10 on the changer meter. It felt god awful at the start, and it could have just not been a Valorant day, but it was like appalling, appalling. But at the end of the swift play, it started to get better, and I started to adjust, so I can't really be too harsh. I didn't really do any kind of warm-ups, I just went head first into a game and well it was kind of a kind of a mix between the two. I did keep my overall movement and aim pretty well, but it was just those awkward things like adjusting to the head with a V9S or going for those clips with the sniper. Yes, I am that kind of light main, please don't judge me. I didn't hear loads of shots, but at the same time, I didn't overly miss a bunch either. If I played more with the Viper Mini, I feel like I could get to where I am with other mice. The truth is that after playing two other games at 1000 Hertz, it just felt normal again, and I started hitting those devious flicks and micro adjustments. It just took time. I would give the finals a 4.5 out of 10 on the changer meter. I started whiffing massively, but with not too much playtime, I managed to get back to my usual Greek guard level of aim. So, do I think that the Viper Mini should be viable in 2024? Hell yeah it should! This thing is like £40 on Amazon right now. If you don't have much to spend on gaming mice, then there are definitely some other wireless options now, like some of those Domo Shark mice and stuff. But this mouse is still absolutely playable on modern titles to a high standard. Honestly, it's pretty impressive that this mouse has only just started to become outdated, and it still isn't in some regards. Overall, if you're looking for a more budget, wired option, and you want to go big brands like Razer, this guy will not disappoint. That's all I have to say for this video, I'll catch you in the next one.